First of all, just I, I know I mentioned the, the tune group earlier, but also we have James uh, Sugar and I think Peter Mulryan, who are two of the boarded out um, children uh, here with us, and they just wanted the point made as well that they were actually given a commitment from uh, the now Taoiseach, uh, Leo Varadkar, about their own cases and that they shouldn't be forgotten. And I think that this is kind of the, the difficulty that we've had, you know, with government. They're saying one thing and maybe meeting survivors, and yet then when it actually comes to the brass tacks of, of the situation, we're seeing a totally different kind of approach. And to be honest, I'm kind of struggling for words here because we've had so many debates in relation to the, the mother and baby institutions and we've had so many committee meetings and we've had them through COVID when we had to really try to figure out how we could bring people up so that we could hear directly from them and we, we overcame all that and as a committee worked really well and really hard together, totally cross party might I say, and that doesn't happen very often and and here we are and it's, it's, it's still exclusionary of so many people. I, I agree with the other speakers we need to know why people um, who have been spent less than six months who were born in institutions are being left out. And I think the reason, with all due respect, Minister, you don't want to answer that is because the reality is, the answer is, it's a cost-saving measure. And I really believe if you were in one of the seats over here, I don't believe fundamentally you would, you would agree with this. I don't believe personally that, that you would agree with this. I also want to briefly mention um, the religious institutions and the pharmaceutical um, institutions as well, because they have to be pursued, and I said that at second stage, that we should be looking at how we can pursue them through the courts, because they need to pay their fair share as well. Um, and again, everybody from all institutions, and I want to, I know I'm kind of running out of time, but if you just indulge me for 30 seconds, Cahirlock, we had a situation here before Christmas in relation to a bill, uh, one of the health bills, where it was, it was going to be guillotined, and then I think for the first time ever in the seven years I've been in this house, the right decision was made and they stopped that and they decided they would come back to it after Christmas. The same thing can be done in relation to this bill now. We can adjourn the debate and go back, to, not, not even fully to the drawing board, but go back to a, a scheme that's going to include everybody and to ensure that everybody who spent even a day or a few minutes in an institution is included in this scheme. And finally, finally, I just want to say, I think Deputy Boy Barrett has summed up the whole situation and the whole debate in his contribution. I commend him for it.